You know, I'm getting a little bit sick and tired of constantly facing against the iron hands and the roaring moons on the ladder. So today I'm playing a card that literally hard counters it. I mean, it's almost an auto win. Oh yes, today we're playing with Rigorath EX. Now, for those wondering why this is technically an auto win against the moon and the hands, well, it's all because of the armor tail ability, preventing all damage done to it by basic Pokemon EX. Meaning the iron hands and the moon cannot hit you. But, Sean, you might be talking about you know, the moon, the baby moon. What about moon EX? It still has frenzy gouging, right? Mist energy. You just, just, just throw some mist energy on it in the process and you'll be fine. Now, of course, the moon can throw on the old Temple of Sinnoh to throw it off, but, you know, we do have a high stadium count and a lost vacuum in a deck to just try and help with that particular back and forth, but th th you're getting into nuances at that point. And now you might be wondering, Sean, what about Charizard? Yeah, I can't lie. Ferrigraph just doesn't go well against Charizard. However, I do have a few tricks in this deck. We attack with Psychic Energy, so we can use Psychic Attackers, and there's one that I am trying out for a little bit near, and that's Oranguru from Paldean Fates with the Plotter's Command, which does 30 damage and prevents an attack, so it's an amnesia effect. And against Charizard, that can be quite punishing because it forces retreats out, it forces them to use energy in ways they didn't plan to, which is going to cause enough disruption to make another card even more powerful, the TM Devolution. We also play two copies of that, so we do have some coverage for Zard. Oh, and also one other card to go against Zard. There's Mimikyu as well, although I know they just have, they boss every turn, so it's not going to be that big of a card, but it still can help. So I've really built this deck to try and consider the top tier decks that are running around on the ladder right now to give it the best chance, because Ferrigarath just in general isn't that good. But regardless, let's see if this build can actually cut through the opposition. And a quick shout out to our sponsors, PDCGL Store, where you can buy codes to bling out your deck using code FDW for 5% off and what's not. But you can buy and sell collectible Pokemon cards live. And they're even giving you £10 off your first purchase using my special link. Links to all sponsors are in the description below. But for now, let's get going. All right, we're going to uh, put the Jirachi up because the hand isn't fantastic. Uh, we actually are going for the TM Arvin build, trying to get the Arvin out. I've noticed when I've been building TM Arvin builds, I've not been committing enough to pulling it off. So usually now, usually I'll play like Arvin, one town store to like free up space in the deck for other things because we don't need to worry about path but the more i play it now the more i like really enjoy playing like a high copy of town store just to in increase the odds right we are playing against the raging bolt so that's fantastic uh well uh, energy stick up that's really cool um that's that's really really good ultimately with this deck all i need to do if it is raging bolt is just get the giraffe out as long as i do that it's an auto win because they literally can't do anything else. So I just need to get the draft out. That said, this hand doesn't allow me to do that just yet. So we've got to be careful. Also, you never know, it could be some sort of evolution, but I've just played this deck for a certain series that may be coming back soon. And uh, it's really cool, but it is also just straight basics, not a single evolution. Granted, it does have some tricks. It does have the sliver wing, also has the sandy shocks, but we can dispose of them in literally one hit. And uh, it's going to be very difficult for them. We just need cards, you know? Speak of the devil, there's an oven. And I'm going to get myself a nest ball and an evolution because I literally have this in hand. I'm going to get one Natu, I think, or Zatu. Because I might need to get two two giraffes out eventually. Just in case. Also, to be fair, Mimikyu could just be an absolute nuisance here too. So a lot of good cards here for my opponents to try and deal with. But there's the giraffe. I will get a nest ball and get a... Do I go for another giraffe? Do I just double giraffe? That would be so funny. <laughs> no. I think I go for the Zatu just for the... I don't need to, do I? I don't need to... to, to yeah, I, I could just manually attach. I don't have the Zatu all the time. All right, I think we go for double giraffe. Yeah, that way they can't even boss around it. You know what I mean? That's going to be so strong. All right, let's go for an evolution. I will put the Zatu down as well, actually, just in case. But this is what we want. This is exactly what we want. Just two giraffes out where ultimately they can't do anything. <laughs> They're going to shut up the ability. They ain't got a canceling cologne. They don't play Miss Magius, which still is not a big deal. Ultimately, we just sit and wait, baby. There's an energy retrieval. Really loving the old artwork, man. I love that stuff. Just start trying to use them, actually. But then again, I just forget. When I build decks, I just build with the first card I see. I rarely change artwork. Unless I'm feeling a bit special that day, you know? Oh, I've got the games on mute. Uh, there's, there's a bug where if I don't select the settings and go to sound settings, it'll be on mute until I do that. I don't, I don't know why, but that's happening. And I tell you what, I, since yesterday's video as well, where I was talking a lot about kind of struggling um, to build decks and, and, and kind of struggling to beat the top tier decks, I've kind of had this weird little shift in mentality where I'm starting to just kind of let go of some of the uh, the, the 
the ideas that I had in my deck building process to try and adapt. And it's actually helped a lot. But like, the, uh, as I said, like with Arvin, for example, I would only play the one town store. This is a small example, but it applies across the board because I thought one town store and four Arvin is enough. But the hands you get, not only in PTCGL, but just in general, I want to get it every turn one going second. You know, I don't want to mess about. So that's kind of my idea. All right, they just pass up, which is great for us because we can actually just go for a, a charge energy and just get some energy, which is literally what we need to do here. So I'm going to do that and then end my turn. And that way, at least I have some energy to work with. Also, for this archetype in particular, the free town store makes so much sense because you need the de-evolutions. You also need your, your boards. Your boards give Star 2 free retreat so many uh, options for retreat, so you don't need to worry about pivoting, right? Because a lot of people played the Mew and Cleffa before with the Zartu because you needed something to promote to allow you to accelerate and then retreat into the active. Whereas with the board, you don't need to play those cards anymore. Even though, to be fair, Mew's still a good shout. I didn't play it in this deck. It's pretty nice just to have board throw it on a Zartu and be like, yeah, that'll do me. I don't need to like play extra Pokemon just so I can retreat. It's really cool. Another pass? Yeah, I think Zab there's the board. Look at this, man. It's just being perfect. Right, let's draw. See if we get some energy. Just need one more energy and we can start attacking here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> too, too deep blue. Wrong deck, mate. You don't need to come out just yet. And I'm just going to go for another energy charge. And that will secure what I need to start attacking next turn. And so long as we don't bench any Pokemon, we just win. Now, I feel like this deck is only really good now. Because everyone and their nan is out here playing some sort of basic only aggressive hard hitting fast winning deck i mentioned in the last video talking about how people are doing that because they win quicker and if they win quicker then they rank up faster and if that's the case then they're gonna play it more and also people would enjoy i enjoy a beat stick deck most people enjoy a fast paced heavy hitting deck naturally so they usually go for that obviously they're also the reason why you see a lot of charizard as well is because it's just regarded as the best deck in format yeah there's the auto scoop man said auto scoop like they did it at that, they did it with some coding and robotics i'm waffling easy win easy win baby starting a mimic is an absolute blessing but i fear that we are not playing. It's funny, right? I play the deck and I'm hunting for those hands. I'm hunting for the bolts and the moons and they're not coming up. But then if you watch my past few videos, they come up all the time. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. If I keep talking, you think my hat's not made out of fabric. It's made out of tin foil because I'm about to get conspiratory. It's a Charizard, unfortunately. But if we keep Mimikyu in play, then there's that. But they, are, they obviously can Radzard. We can also get rid of that too. Listen, it's it's a bad match, I think. I still think it's rough. TM Evo, though, that could maybe be our saving grace. So let's start moving here. We'll get our Anguru as well. We're just going to now readjust our game to accommodate for the, the Zard now. Not going to try so hard to get the Giraffe Rig out just yet. Going to focus much more on getting these Nartus out. Um, Could also... Do, do I get... I could just get the Giraffe down, right? Because there's no bench problem with that. Okay, fine. I'll pull that one off then. Let's go for an Arvin. Go for a Vessel and an Evo. And from there, I'll get rid of i actually get rid of i can actually get rid of this the the zartu yeah could get rid of the zartu I'm trying to think about what's more valuable um is the ultra ball less valuable here yeah i think the ultra ball's less valuable now that i think about it because i could still get a zartu from prizes eventually you know um and then go down that road so in order to get charizard up they still need a couple of turns of evolving and attaching right so i think yeah okay all right so now i'm gonna try and just keep attacking with ghost eye or do i try and get that plotter's command up because plotter's command also shuts off the radzard and the if they try charge up a Radzard fully, like to take out my Mimikyu, coming up with the plotter's command to then force them to retreat so much of that energy and rod and recommit and go a long way. Also, there's a Charmeleon. Completely forgot about that existing. So maybe I do go for the plotter's command here. How do I can forget about Charmeleon? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's fine. Plotter's Command will ju just do fine for me, I think. Then they can evolve. See, there's there's so much of the... Charizard's just too good. That's that's the problem. It has an answer to every deck, no matter what. You can make a deck designed to counter Charizard, and it will still probably get win. It's the new Mew, basically, unfortunately. Obviously, it's nowhere near the same as Mew, actually. But it's the same kind of firepower, where literally with counters, it still can win, you know? That said, doesn't mean it doesn't have problems, you know? Right, they are going to come up with Cleffa, and that's such a unique play. I've just never seen a Cleffa in a, in a Charizard before, but here we go. Actually, I'm not against it, honestly, because Charizard can have some Willy or some Willy Orchid. <gasps> Wait a second. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, prevent all of the effects of attacks on Super Dunce's Pokemon. So the miss won't. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. So unfortunately, it doesn't shut off that Flare Veil. What I need to do then is maybe work on a KO on that. Maybe I instead get a Giraffe Rig out. So when they come up with Charmeleon, I then just retreat and attack it for a KO. Okay, I think we're trying to play a bit of chess right now. So let's 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 start with that. Gonna go for a Clairvoyant Sense first before I Ultra Box. I don't want to get rid of anything just yet. Let's see if we can. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm talking. We're talking now a little bit. It's a bit. Just a tad. Hmm. Do I just... I think I still go for the Mimikyu swing here with the mist. And 
Do I Arvin for... Can I get a TM Devo now? I mean, the only problem is TM Devo is not going to be as strong with Charmeleon and Bidoof as well. But it does deal with this. I could TM Devo the, the, the Pidgeot. That just feels bad. I want I want a few more rare candies down before I do any anything else with TM Devo. I think I Ultra Balls these two away. Go for the Giraffe. Maybe I've done that too soon. Maybe I did do that too soon. Well, let's, let's just Arvin. Actually, there's no heart in me get... Oh, I've got Max Belt as well. I forgot about you. Rescue Board, I think, though. And maybe some more energy just to keep the draw going, I think. And I'll throw a board down here. Here. Don't think I'll evolve just yet, though. I'm just going to go for a ghost die, and we'll take that out. Maybe I should have benched another giraffe rig, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, because they could just boss up giraffe rig, and eventually... I mean, I have rods, so it's not, not terrible. But basically, we're trying to now bait up Charmeleon. If they come out with Charmeleon and swing, which is what they're going to do, then I'd then come up with giraffe rig, take out the Charmeleon, uh, maybe ping 30 on something like a Zard, or maybe on a, on a, on a Rad... Zard, I don't know just yet. Because bear in mind, if we come up with Girafferig... Oh no, Radzard can hit Girafferig, right? It's only basic EX, so not rule box. God, this is a lot more like chess than I thought it was going to be, you know. A lot more difficult. There's Red Caddy. That's good. That's going to help the TM Devo play. They are going to do it and get Radzard out. And Infernal Rain is coming in. So yeah, once we take out the Charmeleon, the Radzard can come in and hit me. It won't KO me just yet, unless they go for a Defiance. But that said, they did just get a Defiance ban. And they're going to go for a Zartu, actually. So that's been Red Candy on. So that we ain't got to try and KO. That we've just got to worry about devolution. I don't know devolution sounds about right eventually. Maybe even now, to be fair. It doesn't sound like a terrible shout. Eh, not really. All right, let's promote Nartu just now. And I think I am just going to go for that Charmeleon. So then Mimikyu can be just as strong. Have they played? Oh, they've got two Rod, though. So they can really just get Charmeleon out as much as they want. But I think it is the best play. Just hitting this Charizard with Mimikyu just means they're going to keep bossing. So I think I'm going to go for this play now. Attach here. Go for... I can't, I can't counter catch her. Oh, God. Pity for... I can't counter catch. All right, okay, change your plan. Change your plan, boys. Go and get rid of a town store. I could also just go with for a giraffe and just hit 160 on the active. I could also do that and actually work on a TM Devo discard. Oh, I could do that too with the max belt. God, so many things to think about, man. Okay, I'm going to earthen vessel actually. Get some stuff here. And I could also work on a Ranguru as well. So that's kind of where my mind was at with that. But I also kind of want a max belt. Can I just, just, just swing, you know? We're not at the point where they're KOing my giraffe rig. So if I'm just doing this, let's see how it turns out. Let's just see how it fares. All right. I think that's going to be quite fun to, to explore. Also, I'll go for a super rod here and just get another Lazatu 9 back like so. And I think I then Iono here. So I'm two at KOing Zard. That's kind of cool. And what I'm thinking is... I actually kind of like the idea of just getting rid of Town Store here, actually. I don't want to give them any, like, Forest Seal Stone or anything like that. So let's hit 210. And where do I ping this 30? I think I ping it on the Charmeleon. I think that means, actually, if I get one more hit, which could definitely happen here, then I can ping that for 30. And then the Plotter's Command will actually take it out. And then I still have Mimikyu around. Let's see. They're going to Ultra Ball here. And they're probably going to get Bit Barrel, which means the TM Devo is going to be less strong. But that's just the nature of it, isn't it? I think they're going to keep targeting my Zartus, though. They also need to get a Charmander down, but they'll do that with Quick Search, I reckon. But I think you should actually in sizes first to see if you get it so you could quit search for something else is that a sequence is that how you should sequence oh they just two row the zard wow wait you're just gonna swing with the charmeleon oh you're trying to you're trying to get to a point of being able to want to ko my my giraffe right that's so interesting oh no they just evolve into it straight okay <laughs> they're just giving up on charmeleon okay that's really good too that's actually really good wait um so do i then go for they're gonna hit me here do i just hit them and put 60 or do i retreat no because they'll just ko me anyway so i think i just gotta go with this giraffe until it dies and then do i just go for a plotter's command force a retreat you know again just burn resources build up to that tm devo eventually kind of where i'm thinking it's gonna be pretty cool i actually will get jirachi yeah i might need to find energy somehow so let's throw a mist on the plots and we won't retreat we won't retreat we'll opt out from retreating and we'll go for a what if i ping here if i can get a i can't double ping that ain't gonna happen right now so i don't think it actually matters well actually no it will it will it can that 30 can count but if they do take out my giraffe then i actually have counter catcher online meaning i can actually boss up the barrel and go for something Another one! Okay, we, we really need to find that TM Devo, bro. We need to find that TM Devo ASAP because we could cause serious problems, especially if I get two Professor Commands hit on the Zard. So actually, what I'm going to do is if they KO me here, I'm going to counter catch and try and get some two commands off here and then try and get TM Devo. Or actually, no, I go for just, I just go for Safeguard, right? And then, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Safeguard Mimikyu, go for a Ghost Eye on this and then try and find my Devo. And then if I get my Devolution, then if they come up with Zara to take out the Mimikyu eventually, then I can just go for Plot's Command and just keep blocking off Combustion Blast. Okay, that's that's an idea. That's an idea. Also, I realized my, my I always say this just in case, but the game's a bit weird and frame rate -y. I don't know why. I, I, there's, yeah, I think it's fine. Just, it's just OBS being weird. Right, so we have a game plan. It's just, we just need TM Devo. That's it. We really need TM Devo right now. That would be the, oh my God. Okay.
<laughs> okay, okie dokie. Let's down store. I'm gonna get it now. It will it will bait an Iono. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have that. Mm, I'm not gonna see him. Yeah, I don't know if I should have got it now, actually. Right, well, let's just go retreat into Mimikyu. Go for a counter catch into this Zard, like so. Hit Ghost Eye, and then next turn we just go for a TM Devo, right? But they're gonna Iona. But is it Iona me then? I'm, the odds of me hitting it are still fine because I have Arvens and energy. Oh no, I'm too Arven down though, and a few energy down as well. But I think an Iono is gonna be what they're looking for, right? Because you just can't have me having that. But then you also need to grab a, 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 a I can't talk, a lost vacuum. But they can do that too. But uh, I am making them use a lot of resources again. There's a Charmander down and they just boss. Are they going to boss my, they're going to boss the Guru. Okay. Yeah, that's also pretty fair. I mean, if I can also at the same time try and get another giraffe going. If I get another giraffe going, then what we can do is we can uh, effectively, oh, there's a collapse. Are they going to get rid of Zard? Okay, that's still... I'm not trying to take prizes with the devolution. I'm just trying to stop you from playing. So that's fine. I also have one more devolution available as well. So even if they re-evolve again, I could just devolution again. It's just my hand's so bad. You know what I'm saying? I just need a bigger hand. Oh, they recovered Charmeleon. No. Well, they quick search. So let's see what they get. Oh, we didn't see. All right. <laughs> They're just burning darkness. Right. The hand doesn't support the ting. Let's just say that. A TM Devo, they probably got rare candy in hand. They played so well to get out of that situation. Um, Iono, hello. I think I still go for a TM Devo if I think about it, really. And funny enough, it means Zard isn't even online, so I only take one prize card anyway. I was hoping to have that big barrel dealt with, though, you know what I mean? It's kind of what I was hoping for. Right, let's see if we can eventually build to a giraffe. That's kind of what I want. I have free energy. TM Devo's still there. My giraffe is just my only way to effectively deal with that Radiant Charizard. Right, let's TM Devo. They only have one rare candy, so I, I, I'm assuming they'll just go for a Pidgeot with that and then try and get Charmeleon Zard in, or they're just gonna go the rest of the game without Pidgeot. This is why I really don't like the barrel plus Pidgeot because it just makes TM Devo that less effective. Either way, we have to move with what we've got. Now, if they just go straight to Charm... No, they're just going straight for the Zard again, right? Yeah, okay. All right, so they can be barrel. Can they boss? They still probably... Yeah, they still got loads of bosses left, so they can just boss... To be fair, I think they can just boss around it for the rest of the game. That said, yeah, yeah, it's honestly not looking great. I wish I had one extra ping on this Bidoof. Whoa, what the hell was that? What the... <laughs> yeah, I wish I had one extra... Uh, we'll forget about that. My whole screen turned to be barrels, not sack. There's a Red Charizard. Yeah, I was just hoping I can get one extra 30 on it because then I could just, you know, get rid of it with the devolution, but it's just not happened. You could argue that to, like, help with that, you could technically throw in a... What's that? Ra yeah, Radiant Alakazam, because that could have moved some damage catalyst onto that to create that situation. So maybe that would have worked out. And now that I think about it, Radiant Alakazam isn't, isn't bad in this deck at all because of the 30 damage to the bend. Either way, there's a Power Pads and a Forest Seal Stone. They have to pass here. And if I just go for a TM Devolution, I think we kind of win, right? I'm pretty sure we win if I just TM Devo. No? Because... I I TM Devo the Charizard, they can... Maybe I go for one Ghost Eye and then try and TM Devo. Oh, I don't know. All right, let, we're going to run out of, uh, out of deck anyway. <laughs> we're going to run out of deck space, mate. Oh, hello. I like that. Oh, I like a boss. A boss sounds kind of funky. What if I just boss their barrel up? If I TM Devo, that means only, they've only got retreat for one. So I think I go for a safeguard here. Um, Zards, they can attack with the energy next turn to take me out. But then I just TM Devo KO the Charizard EX. They can't get another Charmander down. I mean, if I TM Devo now, then at least it means they have to Charmeleon and I can deal with the Charmeleon. <sighs> I think I TM Devo now then? What if I boss up? Oh, I'm going to try this out. Let's go. I don't know what to do here, but I'm going to try this. Just going to try and go for a boss and a, and, a, and a Devo again. And just take out the Zards with that Devo. Obviously, it doesn't KO it, but just hopefully... They could just Charmeleon. That's the problem. But then if they... Oh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I don't know now. They can take me out of Radzard, but I was thinking, oh, I'll just come out with the Draft Rig and KO the Radzard. But then they just evolve to Charizard with the Charmeleon. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've done that right. I think I still have one more counter catcher though, don't I? I do. So what if they evolve to Charmeleon? I just gust up Charmeleon. Oh, I could do that, right? Just gust up Charmeleon, take it out. It ping the Zard. The Zard will hit me, but won't hit me for KO because they haven't got a, uh, a way to do that. Okay. All right. I think we still have a way here. We still have a way. I told you, bro. I really thought about Charizard when building this deck because it just gets hit so hard by it. They just pass? Oh, brother. Okay. Um, What we got to do then is try and take out that Charmeleon. That's our, that's our goal. We have one more energy in deck. We have counter catcher in deck. We have Iono for four, which means we guarantee it. So we throw a board on here. Evolve to Giraffe Rig. Iono, like so. I'm just worried about decking out at this rate. <laughs> but we have the counter catcher, which means we can do this. <laughs> this is just so bad. I feel so bad for him. All right, cool. We go for this plate. We go for a dirty beam onto Charmeleon. They can come up with the Radzard, but can they actually take the KO? That's the thing. I don't think they have it. Defiance Ban isn't activated right now. They, they can't and, well, actually, no, they could Maximum Belt. If they have Maximum Belt, then do you know what? Fair play. Fair play. I'll give it to them. But have they? No, they've paid the Prime Capture. Okay, I'm pretty sure they can't Okomio Zard right now. Everything can retreat. 
Oh, but they can get another Charmander, right? No way they can get another Charmander. Oh, no, but the, all, the, all the red candies are gone. <laughs> Bro, I think we may have got a win here. And not, not an easy one. One we've had to really work for. But I, I love it when my deck actually does its thing. This is amazing. They scooped. <laughs> Bro, we literally, we didn't demolish. We picked apart Charizard. That's insane. That is a screen you should just never be seeing. Beautiful stuff. Wow. Okay. Oh, we're going first. Damn it. Why do so many decks want to go second? I actually prefer going second obviously starting to, wow okay bit of an interesting start here but then i'll put the Oranguru in the active uh, we have the poffin that's nice i only feel like two poffin in a deck because the giraffe can't actually use it it's not one below 90 hp right dialga this is one that's actually kind of worrisome we just don't have a counter to it so we need to kind of outpace it whilst also trying to get mimikyu and stuff at the right time but for now i'm gonna go for a i think for a mist here and i might just tm next turn if anything really there's a lot of time i'm giving them though isn't it i mean i could also plot as command in the meantime as well let Let's just end turn here. Never know. They could have a bad start. Oh, they bench another Dialga here. So technically, if I keep using Plotter's Command onto their Star Chronos, then they have to boss out to use it, which is another step. And is it just get rid of a boss as well, actually? So I could just manually, because they're clearly charging up this active one. I could just keep using Plotter's Command until I'm happy to come into the active. Then at that point, it gets really risky, you know? Also, I want to see if I can hit these Beldums before they have thought that that ain't going to happen, is it? Metal coating right out the bat. Don't even think the Plotter's Command is going to come into effect here. But here we are. There's a Zar2. That's nice. Let's go for, I think we are going to TM Evolution here. And I'll also grab an Arvin here with... Not grab an Arvin, use an Arvin. Tempted to go for a counter catch. I have a feeling we are just going to go down. But then again, Vessel's better, right? Yeah, Vessel is way better. And we'll also go for Rescue Board. And we'll just go for the Evolution. Evolving both the Giraffe and Nartu. Now, the one thing I'm hoping for here is their hand is kind of dead. So if I can Vessel, Accelerate, and start attacking... Hopefully that can be enough. Also, I can throw the board in a Rangu and I'm gonna treat that for one energy anyway. So we still have things to do. It's just, it's kind of a race right now. We're not really used to this. There's an Arvin. We have an Ultra Ball and a TM Evo. They might be Evoing this turn, actually. It does buy us time, though, if they are doing that. They could also just go for a Temple or Upshot. I wouldn't agree with that. Oh, but then again, like, if you could just get one more energy next turn, Kronos is just online. Oh, there goes the Kronos. All right, there's a Mew. I think they should have just attacked, saved the energy, and then just Ultra Ball to Kronos. No? Wouldn't that be better? I don't know. I don't know if that was. The, the correct play or not. They go for a Poffin, though. They are going to Super Rod as well. And the last card is the Evo. So, yeah, they, they are going to Evo, and that's going to find them a lot of stuff. No, they're not going to Evo? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Sure thing. And this is why I love the board, man. As I was saying in that last game, it's just so nice to be able to promote pro Azatu and not worry about Pivot, you know? Also, we are definitely going for the Poffin. We're going to get you and you down, so that way we can be a bit of a nuisance with Mimikyu. But for now, let's just go for Vessel, get some energy, and I think we are going to attack here with Girafferig. Uh, Their hand doesn't seem to be good enough that I should be worried about Star Chronos just yet. So I'm going to be attacking with this and then eventually can bring up Mimikyu, you know? Oh, look at this board, bro. The, the, not the board state, but this this rescue board is so nice. Let's also... I'm not going to throw an energy down, actually. I'm just going to swing with Dirty Beam. And they have to start evolving. There's pressure now. I also technically could hit the Mew because that could be a late game one hit. I mean, they are going to start Matanging now, aren't they? And they are going to start evolving into them. So maybe this time... Ah, do you know what? Just in case, I I'll do that. But if my opponent doesn't get anything good here, we are... Actually looking pretty nice. Well, there's an Arvin, so they are getting stuff. Ultra Ball. Oh, they might pull off a Star Chronos here, which wouldn't be great. There's an Ultra Ball. Wait, wait, did they did they get rid of their Evo? They might. Oh, they got rid of their ages ago. Why did I think they had an Evo? Okay, guess not. But yeah, one energy and it's a, it's Chronos time. But after that, you still don't have much going on. If you don't get a boss, you're basically just two-hit KO in my Ferrari. Or for figure it, figure it, figure it, figure, figure it out. Okay, I can't say the word. No, they just metal blast! Ah, ah! Bro, I'm taking three prizes this turn. No shot. Oh my get it out. Oh my baby. I'm loving this. All right, let's go for a clairvoyant sense onto the Mimikyu. I can't believe we're actually doing well against Dialga. We shouldn't, this shouldn't be happening. It's illegal. Uh, it's an illegal maneuver. Let's go for a clairvoyant sense onto the Mimikyu for the second time. Loving that, man. Absolutely loving that. We'll throw a board onto this R2 here. And I think I ultra ball. The devolution is going to be good. The uh, town store, no, not good. Let's just get another Farigarafagarafagarafag down. Throw that bad boy into play like that. Definitely don't Iono. Not when they're dead drawing like this, my guy. And that is free prizes. I, I, I'm a bit fathomed. I can't lie. By the way, this is literally just after that auto win against the Raging Bolt. But we shouldn't be doing this good, my guy. Then again, you never know. The comeback could be on. So let's not get too cocky. And also, so we are now quite Iona weak. This deck is quite Iona weak because I cut out the Mew EX. Mew EX is usually there for Iono and uh, they cut it out. So, oh, I don't know. It's, it's a risky move, I guess you could They're speaking of the devil. But I'm thinking if you just preserve your energy, you know, try and work around it, you could, there you go, figure it out, you know. Wait, there's a Matang. Are they going to come out with the, the 
they could actually attack with the new EX. That would be funny. That would actually be quite hilarious. They might have to do that, though. Nope, they're going to start going for Dialga on the bench. To be fair, one more. Oh, they could just retreat and attack with it, right? Well, this is where Mimikyu is going to come in. Mimikyu is going to definitely come in and just start doing some damage, making it difficult for them. But the comeback is definitely still possible. Okay, let's let's not get too carried away. Let's not get too carried away now. Promote this R2. Always promote the float, is what I used to say. Back when float stone was a thing. Bloody hell. I think I'll Ultra and get a Farigaraf. Yeah, I'll Ultra and get a Farigaraf. No, it's, it's, it is Farigaraf. For, is it Farigaraf? Like a fridge? Or Farigaraf? I don't know. All right, let's just go for a clear. Blood is waffling, bro. All right, let's go for a clairvoyant. And I'm trying to figure out my game plan right now. And I think it's... Well, I know it's not going to do too much here. But it will draw me some cards. Do I evolve? That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, I'll evolve. Screw it. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. I won't be punished for that. Like, I know... <laughs> okay, not too great. But we can Mimikyu. At least if we get a couple of Mimikyus off, then I'd love to be able to then KO it. So one more Mimikyu. And then we can just Faragarif for the KO anyway. Let's see. Let's go for a Metal Maker. They do hit. But uh, you need to boss. Or actually, no, counter capture doesn't even. They didn't hit. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, it paused for a sec. I thought they hit. But nope. Ah, they're going to come up with the Mew. That's fair. Because you can obviously just copy the Mimikyu. And that's actually not that bad of a shout. So what do I do now? I'm behind on prizes. So I can gust up with the counter catch the Dialga and hit it. But that just feels bad. That feels so, so bad. Uh, what options do I have? Let's Arvin. That's kind of the only option we have. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good option, lads, but it's all we've got. I could also TM Evo if they if they whiff next turn as well. I could TM Evo and go down that route. I could also actually hit... Or I could gust up Matang. No, that sounds bad. Unless I gust up this Dialga, right? Ah, but the thing is, TM Evo, that's going to take too long. Okay, I think I know what i got to do. i just got to pray. That's literally it. I've got to gust up this Dialga. That said, this Dialga has no energy. So if I gust up this Dialga, hit it, and then hit a Beldum, the next turn I just win by taking three prizes again. So I think that's my best bet. Yeah, let's go for that. This is my only option, so there you have it. Double check my nest balls, nothing to bench, literally nothing. Yep. We're talking about a one-trick pony or a one-trick giraffe in this deck. But let's see if we can do it. Dirty Beam. What a dirty name. There we go. Hitting 30 on the Beldum. If they can't retreat this, all go for the Star Kronos or take a KO, which you'd Star Kronos first. Then we win. Obviously, they can't just evolve too. So still, I don't know. But a lot of energy is gone. A lot of energy is just chilling in play. One, two... Okay, if they have one more out. Oh, they research. No, they're going to get it. They're going to. There's no way they don't get it. Yeah, there's Matang. And another one. Yeah, there's it. They just got that. Bro's just got it. It, it. It's just, it is what it is. Uh, here's where I would love a tulip, you know. Come up with tulip. Take out a Dialga again. Unless they whiff. They did just whiff one. Wait, what? No way did they whiff. Did they whiff the Kronos? Oh my God, it's Metal Blast. <laughs> um, I, I still think we lose. Actually, I still think we lose because the Mew could just come up and KO me. So it's not GG. Ah, for me, at least. It is GG for them. Just going to explore my options right now, but I think it is game. Man, I wish I just had another Mimikyu, you know, or an Outdoor Rod, which I don't. So that sucks. I could try and boss, but I've got no way of getting that. If I had an Arvin, I could have counter catch it again, which is now out of options. I, I, yeah, I just don't have any more outs here. So we will take the prize, but them evolving the Matang does unfortunately mean the Mew EX of all cards is actually going to finish us off. And you can see this deck just isn't good unless... Its ability is coming into play. If it's not coming into play... Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. I've just realized. The, mu the Mew's in the X. The Mew can't hit me. Wait a second. No way. Oh, but they met a gross. Bro, what is this roller coaster of emotions? <laughs> Literally exactly 60 damage to take me out. Bro. Oh, God. I did not see that coming, but they got it. They got it. That's fair, man. GG. But we... We took it to him. What can I say? What can I say? What an absolute wonderful outcome there. So uh, most of the cards, the only card that really didn't get to shine, which I hope would, was the Oranguru. But it was enough of a threat for them to have to gust it up. I mean, this is an honestly fantastic deck. Like, I, I think this is the best I could ever get out of the the Viragru Giraffe. We saw literally every outcome. We saw the auto win against that Raging Bolt. Unfortunately, we didn't see the Mooney X for the Mist to come into play. But that's fine. At the end of the day, you're still running pretty well against that deck naturally. Uh, the Mimikyu done its job. The TMT Evolution's done their job. Everything came together. I cannot be more satisfied. But my God, do you have to like dance on your toes and, and walk your way through a maze at the same time when you're playing this deck? It's an absolute minefield. But as you can see against that Charizard deck, you can definitely beat Zard, which is something that you should never be able to do. But of course, it does have its flaws. It still loses to some games. That Dialga we could have won. You just lose to Lugia. Lugia is just a bad time. You can't beat everything. But I mean, this is the best I can do, man. I hope you had a good time with it because I've had 
had an absolute blast. But we'll leave it there. Take care and peace. And a huge thank you to the channel members for supporting the channel. If you want to become a member yourself, click the join button down below to see all the perks and all the tiers where you can get exclusive content and the like. But we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for the support, guys. See you later.